When dividing decimals with the pattern of 10 hundred thousand, first of all, knowing place value is really beneficial. So just knowing this is hundreds, tens, ones, the decimal always lives behind the ones place. And then you have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Well, just like in multiplying decimals where you have 25 point seven times ten. If I were to take on this problem, I am making it ten times larger. That would equal two hundred and fifty seven by simply moving the place value one spot to make it larger. Well, opposite, if I were to take 25.7 multiply times 100, I would simply move my decimal two places over to make it 100 times larger. Every place value you move is 10 times larger or 10 times smaller, depending on the direction you are moving. So this answer would be 25 seven, because you're moving it once, but also you're moving it one more. So 2,570. Now, starting fresh, oops, let's see if I can add a new, here we go. With this, we are now kind of thinking, okay, if I were to divide with decimals, it's a little different. You're just going the opposite direction. So, likewise, knowing our place value, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Okay, let's go with the number 32. A whole number always has the decimal living right behind the ones place. If I were to take 32 and divide it by 10, your answer is taking that decimal and moving it to become 10 times smaller. So it would be 3.2. If I took 32 and divided by 100, I would actually be moving it two times in because every place value is 10 times smaller. So moving it once is 10 times, moving it twice is 100 times smaller. So my new response would be 32 hundredths. If I were to take 32 and divide by 1,000, I would actually be moving my decimal three places over. So I'm actually going to have to, instead of once, twice, three times, if my decimal is now here, I have to have a zero in my tenths place. So point zero, three, two. Bringing in a letter into the equation, AKA algebra is nothing to be fearful over. It is simply solving for that variable. So if I had, let's just say 7.32 divided by, let's say M equals, the answer would be 732 thousandths well, I need to think, okay, this decimal went from being in between the 7 and the 3, which is the 1s and the tenths place, to now being in front of the 7. So I know somehow this decimal moved here. It obviously made my number 10 times smaller because I just moved one place value over. So therefore, if I think that m equals 10, I would be accurate because I simply moved over one place. 
what do I do if my, vario ha my variable happens to be in place of the number itself? Well, let's say that the, the letter is P, and I'm going to divide by a thousand, and let's say that it equals point eight three one. Well, I know whatever P is equaling, it needs to be a thousand times bigger than what this number is. Well, remember what I stated, with every place value you move, that's 10 times bigger. So thinking of 0.831 or 831 thousandths, if the original number is a thousand times bigger, I can think, okay, this would be 10 times bigger, this would be 100 times bigger, and that would be 1,000 times bigger. So P equals 831. Mm -hmm.